When I was a young kid, I had to be around four, so we lived in a small house in Florida. My parents had bought the house right before I was born. I vividly remember going into my bedroom one day and sitting on my bed. There was a window directly across from my bed, and the sun was shining in the window. I remember pulling out a blue notebook that I loved, and it had stickers all over it, and I started to draw in it. All of a sudden, I remember getting up and walking into my closet. I have no idea why I got up and went into my closet, but once I went through the door, I was not in my closet. But I was walking down a path made of pebbles, and all around me were tables with yellow umbrellas, like patio tables that have the hole in the middle for the umbrella. The sun was shining brightly, and people were talking and laughing, and I could hear water splashing. For some reason, I remember feeling really happy and excited about the cool place. I couldn't see a pool, but I could hear the water and the splashing, and see the tables with the umbrellas, and feel the sun. I loved going to the pool, and everything felt safe, and it was so sunny that I felt really, really happy. I looked up to see a man on a very tall chair, and he looked down at me with the kind of eyes and gave me a little wave. I remembered I waved back, but started to look around as curious as where I could go swimming. The next day, I remember I was back sitting on my bed, and the sun was still shining in the window, and the notebook on my lap. I felt so sad and disappointed. Being four, I literally went out of my room and found my mom and demanded to know if we used to have a pool and tables with yellow and butlers. I remember this as clear as it can be. She paid me very little attention but laughed and said, no, we've never had a pool or a table with an umbrella. I remember being super disappointed that there was no cool water park or whatever it could access for my closet. Fast forward many years, many years to when I was growing and married with two kids in my home. We had moved to Texas when I was a teenager. My mom and I were looking through old photos, and there's a picture of our house in Florida taken from the outside. My mom says something like, do you remember much about the house? I said, yes, actually, I remember a lot about living there. She says, your dad and I bought the house from a lady whose husband had died. She had, he had been a lifeguard and actually wound up saving someone and then promptly had a heart attack right beside the pool. The memory of going into my closet at four years old did not come back to me immediately. I had all but forgotten about it and probably chalked it up to being a dream. Later, it hit me. My mom had never told me about the lady she bought a house from sometime in the 80s until that moment. The whole thing came back to me and how I couldn't have been asleep. I remember the bed and the window and the notebook so clearly. I also remember feeling so excited about what I was seeing and so disappointed after. Looking back, the talk chair I saw had to be a lifeguard chair. It was crazy, and I have no explanation. So this actually happened recently in the past month at my boyfriend's house. There's this doll. The doll is very old. It's plastic. With short brown hair, and it's very creepy. Half of his face is melted into his shoulder, so the look of it gives off a weird vibe. Not even the look, but being around it, the energy is off. It's pretty tall, maybe like three feet or so. And I didn't really pay attention to it the first couple of times I went over him in the last month. My boyfriend's mom actually found a doll in the storage room. She goes through storage units. They found the doll wrapped up in a bag and decided to take it home with them. When I first picked up the doll, I actually felt kind of scared but comfortable at the same time with it. I'm a very spiritual person, so I knew something was attached to the doll. When I had left the house to get a call from my boyfriend telling me it was moving around the house and ended up in weird places. He decided to mess around with the doll and threw it down the stairs to which his leg fell off. Out popped the brown piece of paper. The message written on it was worn off from old age. I went over there a week after and brought the doll upstairs with us. To which the dog was up there and started barking and growling at the doll. But I felt comfortable with it and didn't want to let go of it for some reason. It felt like something came over me and I was attached to the doll. And whatever was attached to the doll. My boyfriend started asking me why I was acting weird and told me to stop and give him the doll. I don't remember how I was acting because it felt like something took over. I kept telling him that Amy would get mad and she likes me. There's, that's where the doll got its name from. My boyfriend finally took the doll from me and put it in the opposite room from him. Through his vent, you can see the room it was in. The next morning, we woke up and the doll was staring right into his room from the vent. I swore I'd never pick that doll up again because whatever was attached to it isn't good. Ever since then, I've been having dreams about demons and a doll. So here's a little background. Me and two of my close friends used to go ghost hunting pretty often when we were younger. 
We used to go to the cemetery, visit abandoned buildings, and try to find out a certain place to do truly haunted. At one point, I also had read the book Necronomicon just out of interest and due to what I was into at the time. The book now sits in a box in my basement untouched for years. I myself had had multiple experiences over the years, like seeing a man walk through a bedroom door in my old house, then to go into that room and see no one. The man looked like I would see a regular person, full-fledged person, no haze or fade. I also had another situation where I was in my kitchen and out of nowhere I heard a woman's voice speaking another language right into my ear when I was the only one there at the time. The most intense paranormal experience I've ever had was when I was in my mid-twenties. The house I used to live at was quite old and I always felt like the feeling of someone either watching or walking behind me. Still gives me chills thinking about how it used to make me feel. One night I was laying in bed watching TV in my room and once the movie I was watching ended, I turned off the lights and laid down because I was pretty tired and it was late. Soon after I did that, I felt like someone was standing at the end of my bed. In my head, without saying anything, I just thought, just let me sleep. I was just want to sleep. Now, two seconds after that, I had something pulled a blanket that I was covering with enough that it ended up all down my by my feet. I sprung up as fast as I could and turned on the light to try figuring out what just happened. Obviously, I saw nothing there. It was hard to sleep after that. The light definitely stayed on that night. This was one of the last things that happened to me before I moved out of the house in the most intense. I had other experiences before this one that were different as well, but nothing this close.